by the big government advocates that we come across and the ones that serve in this very chamber. Uh, they're not even hiding it anymore. They're saying the quiet part out loud. They want dependency, they want control. And the total disregard for the Constitution and the oath that many of my colleagues, actually all of my colleagues have taken uh, and violated, it's just, it's so disturbing to me. Many people know, probably as evidenced by what is on the, the face of, of my iPad, that I detest big government and I detest big tech. The two combined have proven to be a lethal combination when it comes to liberty and freedom. Because quite frankly, we know that the MO of big tech and big, big financial institutions combined with big government, it's to erode and evade Americans' constitutional rights. And we're here today because of a blatant Fourth Amendment violation where big banks colluded with big government to turn over data that didn't belong to them to target Americans, innocent Americans. Because in this country, it is still a fact that you are innocent until proven guilty, despite what everyone is trying to do and flip that around. Now, Dr. Peterson, it's good to see you again. I couldn't help but notice your reaction when my colleague was talking about the First Amendment uh, not being absolute. And so I do want to give you the opportunity to, to weigh in and respond to that. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't help but notice your reaction. But before I do, I am really glad that you have been talking about the um, social credit system that the CCP, the, the Chinese Communist Party, utilizes. I, I am literally around the corner in a classified briefing while right now talking about the use of big tech and how it is targeting uh, American citizens. In fact, this very morning, I have been inundated in my office with phone calls from TikTok users who have been denied access to the app because they live in my congressional district and until they call my office and demand that I do not take adverse action against the app, that they cannot use it. Talk about big tech directing behavior I think that we are on a very dangerous path, and I want to give you my time to really lay out in the most succinct way possible the danger, the dangerous nexus of big tech, big government, and financial institutions that seek to weaponize that information against Americans. And I know you are more than capable of doing that in two minutes and 30 seconds. I don't think people understand the degree to which they are profiled online and to which they're virtual representation is now a iconic representation of them, nor do they understand that they have no rights whatsoever to that representation. So for example, let's say we turn our information about our purchasing habits over to the bank when we open a bank account. 30 years ago, that wasn't such a big problem. With AI systems, it's a problem that's so big you can't imagine it. I mean, I'm certain that I, my staff could find the data online to absolutely predict your voting patterns with 95% accuracy. You have no idea what sort of digital footprint that you're, you're leaving behind you. And there are almost no protections for that. And so, now, the, and you also asked about the First Amendment. Yes. Well, we have very weak free speech protections in Canada. And I can tell you that is not going well. And so the combination in my country, the combination of that and the in invasive technology that we're producing at a rate that is beggars the imagination, um, produces a threat to the integrity of sovereign citizenship, the likes of which has not yet been experienced. Right? And that's what this committee should be concentrating on. Like it's very interesting to watch it because it devolves continually into discussion of a, a, a particular event, serious though that event was. It's like, no matter how serious that event was, it pales in comparison to the potential severity of the issue that we're attempting to point to with regards to our testimony. The, these artificially intelligent systems can do things you can't imagine. And not only can they, they are and they will. And that will be abetted by the collusion between large corporations and government. And it's certainly the case that the people who stand on the left, especially with regards to their, what would you say, skepticism of large corporations, which is often, often perfectly warranted, should be utterly terrified about this. Man, you did that in less time than I thought. <laughs> well, I had to get it right once today. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. And I think you have seen it front and center, certainly. We all watched in horror as the truckers' bank accounts were, were seized, were shut down who protested the mandates and 
People think that that's such a faraway concept, but we have seen that here with people who have been given ultimatums of jab or job, and we've seen ways that they've been targeted and, and positioned in ways that are just un-American, unconstitutional. So thank you all to our witnesses for being here today. I appreciate you guys in the fight against weaponization, and we're seeing it more and more every day. Mr. Chairman, with that, I yield.